And you're also still muted, sir, Naka. I was muted, so now you can hear me. Hello, everyone. Yeah. I'm Naiko. I'm working at the State and University Library in Göttingen, based at the University of Göttingen. And I'm very happy to present to you today um, work that's been carried out at the German Competence Network of Bibliometrics, in particular, um, our work um, relative to integrating Open Alex into the um, Competence Network. So um, what is um, the uh, KB or the um, competence network for bibliometrics? So it's, first of all, a data infrastructure that is used or that has been used for bibliometric research and application in Germany um, since 2008. And it is based on um, two proprietary um, solutions that you are made or well, aware of, um, Web of Science and Scopus. And today, um, the KB comprises um, to 22 partners, so including Max Planck Society, um, Helmholtz, Leibniz, Fraunhofer, and some universities who have all um, access to this data infrastructure. And the data infrastructure itself is funded by the um, German Ministry of um, Research and Education, um, BMBF. Um, the current funding period um, includes a pilot um, where we want to move from this um, yeah, closed proprietary setting to a more open setting. And we want to achieve this um, by integrating OpenAlex. And this is what I would like to present to you today. So in our um, project, um, which is carried out by um, five plus one partner from the KB, um, we have these three aims here. So first of all, we wanted to provide Open Alex within the KB data infrastructure using the very same um, data stru structure, so data model as we used for the Web of Science and for Scopus, so that we can um, allow, for instance, for um, cross database analysis. Um, after we achieved this, um, we were able to um, carry out um, some coverage analysis where we um, compared Open Alex with Web of Science and Scopus in terms of, um, for instance, items and references, authors, affiliations from German institutions, document types, funding, uh, journals and publishers, open access and full text. And now we are um, just about to um, yeah, develop and implement um, automated routines to create an OpenAlex data snapshot um, for our users at the KB. So yeah, let's show you some of the results of our um, um, coverage analysis. So what you see here is a summary um, um, or a figure um, the, where the data has been recently published in a preprint um, by Kubert and colleagues, where we investigated the overlap um, between Open Alex on the one side and Scopus and Waffle Science on the other side, using um, the publication years 2015 to 2022. So we compared, I think, the August 2023 20, snapshot of Open Alex um, with the corresponding um, snapshots of Scopus and Web of Science. And you see here, there's huge potential in integrating OpenAlex into the KB in terms of added um, records that can be used for bibliometrics um, analysis. So this is a pink chart uh, or the, the pink bar you see here. And what we also find very promising is that there's a huge overlap um, between um, OpenAlex, Scopus, and Map of Science, which is represented here by the yeah, grayish bars. And they're just a few records which are present in um, either Scopus and Web of Science, which are not present in um, OpenAlex. This is what um, um, the black bars represent. Um, however, we also found some, yeah, some um, um, issues. Um, I think uh, Martin, you already mentioned that some um, fields are not that covered comprehensively as others. So in, with respect to grant support articles, we also found that um, the proprietary databases, so Scopus and Web of Science, yeah, have more, have better coverage of um, 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 grant supported articles, 
in particular when it comes to um, um, grant supported articles from German funders, so from the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft EFG or from our funder, um, the federal government. Um, this is something that, for instance, we want to address um, during our creative efforts so that we integrate um, 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 funding information or that we add funding information to OpenRx snapshot. Um, we've also experimented with um, um, how to yeah, share our findings, our interim results um, with the community and also with um, 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 OpenRx. What you see here is um, a plot taken from a blog post we've written um, as we found a yeah an issue with the open access status classification in open Alex. So we wrote a long form issue description shared on a web and we were so excited to see that um, our research um, responded to that and very swiftly so they were, they were able to fix the issue within um, yeah, days after we published um, 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 the blog post. And what was also very nice is that they acknowledged um, this kind of data work which honestly is not very common in the bibliometrics community that data curation efforts are acknowledged by the communities, but um, we, yeah, we are used to share our research findings, but not our processes. So what's the outlook of, um, of um, um, our work? So as said, we are currently in a process of um, implementing and developing our curation efforts. So we will provide an open data release um, based on Open Alex, um, with a focus on German research um, lately by the end of this year, um, together with the methods we used. So it's um, really an open source and open data um, 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 publication that we aim for. Um, until the end of um, next year, we want to finalize um, um, our automatic data creation routines so that um, Open Alex becomes will become the very same status that um, Web of Science and Scopus um, have within the KB data infrastructure. And I think this is crucial because starting from 2026, we really want to open up the network um, um, by using open data because the use of our network today is quite limited because um, our data is proprietary data. So each user, um, um, we have to pay for each user license and 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 you, um, it's not we cannot really based on the available resources that we have we cannot broaden up um, um, the network just by using um, these kind of proprietary um, license data so thank you so much um, for giving you this brief overview about our work so please feel to um, reach out to 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 one of the partners of this KB open bit project um, here's also a link to um, the um, competence network um, bibliometrics website in case you want to learn more about the network and yeah happy to to answer your questions thank you so much <laughs>